Hello everybody and welcome to a cool scratch tutorials video. Today we are going over how to make a four leaf clover game. There is an example on screen right now of a four leaf clover game that we're making today. The point of the game is to keep on searching in the field of clover until you find the four leaf clover and then the four leaf clover says you found me. But without further ado let's just get into the video right now. First off, let's make our four leaf clover. So let's delete Scratch Cat. So what we wanna do is go down to choose a sprite and click paint. Click on the brush tool and let's select a good green color that we like for our clover. I kinda like this color. So I'm just gonna zoom in here and convert the screen to bitmap because I prefer that for drawing. And I'm gonna make the brush size maybe 15 and I'm just going to draw my four leaf clover. Don't really like the last leaf. There we go. Now I'm going to go to the paint bucket tool and just fill all of this in and then just draw a stem going down like so. There's a little foot there, so I'm just going to erase it. There we go. So we've gotten our four leaf clover. Now let's right click on our costume and click duplicate. Now we just want to display a text on this that says you found me for when we find the clover. Let's just write you found me exclamation point. I'm just going to make the text black, scale it up a little bit, and we have our you found me text over our four leaf clover. I think that's a good for now, and let's just select costume one for right now. Next what we want to do is have our background or our fields of four leaf clover that we search in to find our special four leaf clover. So let's go to choose Let's not go to choose a sprite. I've just gone to a browser and I've searched up Field of Clover. You can see all these images pop up. I'm just gonna scroll down till I find a Field of Clover that I like. Maybe like this one down here. So I'm gonna click on it and then I can right click and I can save the image. I'm going to save this image as Clover Field and then I'm just going to click Save. We can see it appears down here and I'm just going to go back to our Scratch game. Let's go to Choose a Sprite and click Upload Sprite. Now we can scroll until we find our image. We can see mine appeared right here. So I'm just going to click on it and then click Open. We can see now that image is in our screen as a character or a sprite. Just go to costumes quickly and we want to go to the selection tool. We want to drag from the top left all the way down to the bottom right and we just want to uh, scale it up until it fills this entire screen here. There we go. We can see it fills the entire screen and let's just make it go to X0 and Y02. So we have our clover field and we have our four leaf clover that we made. So now what we want to do is actually get started coding. We've gotten all of our characters done and the looks done, but we just want to get coding now. So let's go to when green flag clicked, we want it to go to a random position on the screen. The rough dimensions of the screen is uh, X negative 200 to X positive 200 and then Y negative 200 to uh, Y positive 200. That's what we're going to be using, but to do that, we want to go to motion and drag in a go to X and Y block. Go down to operators and drag in two pick random one to 10 blocks. Since our dimensions of the screen that we're going to use for picking random is negative 200 and 200, it's going to pick an X position between negative 200 and 200 as a random number. And then we want to do the same for our Y. We can see that if we just uh, hide our clover field quickly. 
and every time I click the green flag, our clover goes to a different position on the screen. I think our clover is a little big, so I'm just going to drag in one set size block and maybe set the size to 40%. We can see that it goes to random positions on the screen, all inside of the boundaries of negative 200 to 200x and negative 200 to 200y. We can see that it doesn't go out of that range. There we go. So we've got in our pick random or a random script for where our clover goes. But now we want the script for when we hover over the clover, we want it to appear and say, you found me. So let's go to uh, uh, controls and drag in one forever loop. This makes our code run forever and everything inside of it run forever. And we want it to be sensing if touching mouse pointer, which is our mouse, basically. Mouse pointer just stands for mouse. So forever, if touching our mouse pointer, then we want it to broadcast a message. A message is basically a signal that sends a certain, like, so if I send a message from this character, this clover field character can pick up that message or can hear that message and respond to it. So we want to broadcast message one. And then, so we don't broadcast message one a lot. We just want to wait until operators not touching mouse pointer. So it'll only broadcast message one once. So it'll keep on sensing to if our mouse pointer is touching the clover and if it does touch our clover, it will broadcast message one once. Now, if we want, if we found our clover, we want it to show or come up on our screen. We can see that it's actually behind our clover field. So let's go to looks and we want to go down until we find the go to blank layer. When green flag clicked, we want to go to the back layer so you can't see it straight away. But Let's go to events and we can drag in when I receive message one, which is the message one that we broadcast. So when I receive message one, we want it to go to the front layer. So click the green flag. Let's try and find our clover here. A little confused where it is. So I'm just going to hide the clover field to see where it is. Okay. There we go. We can see that it actually appeared and it showed up on screen. So we want it to go to the front layer. And then we want it to go to the center of screen and change its costume to, you found me. So when green flag clicked, we want it to have the costume one, which is the not you found me. But when I receive message one, we want it to say you found me. So we want to switch costume to costume two or you found me. We want it to go to the very middle of the screen. And to do that, all we have to do is go to motion and then glide one second block. We want to glide 0 0.5 seconds to x0 and y0. So when I click the green flag, let's say I found our clover and we can see that it actually appeared on our screen and it went to the very middle of the screen. Now we just want our background to dim or get lighter and we want our clover to actually grow. So let's make our clover grow right now. So we want it to repeat the code 10 times. We want it to change size by four. So repeat 10 times changing size by four. So I'm just gonna hide our clover field so I know where it is. And then we can see that when I clicked it, it actually grew in size. We can see that whenever I touch it, it keeps on growing, but that's fine for now. Let's just Hide or show our clover field. So our clover's up here. And when I click on it, we can see that it grows and it says, you found me. Now we just want our clover field to get lighter when that happens. So when I receive message one, let's go to looks. We want to change our ghost effect probably by four and let's go to controls and maybe just repeat this 10 times. So when green flag clicked, if our clover's down here, we can see that the background dims and it says, you found me. But let's just reset it 
So when we click the green flag, we just want to go to looks. And we just want to clear graphic effects. So, so I'm searching for my clover and oh, I found it right there and it says you found me and our background dim. Perfect. So today we came up with a script and we made a game that lets us search in a field until we find a four leaf clover. And once we find it, it says, you found me. If you enjoyed this tutorial or if your game turned out very well, it'd mean a lot to me if you liked and subscribed and I'll catch everyone in the next video. Goodbye.